Hey guys, this is Scott from TalkAndroid.com and I just want to go over a few more features of the at and Captivate that you guys had some questions on. Um, number one would be the uh, multiple input options. By default, it has the uh, Samsung keypad. Um, it's a typical QWERTY. Um, I think the buttons are a little bit bigger. I like typing on this in comparison to the Android keyboard personally. But um, some unique features to it. Hit the little gear right here. Um, got some options. You got a 3x4 keypad which will look familiar if you're used to the, uh, you know, the older devices. Hit it again. Got a handwriting box. This separates the input area into four quadrants. You have two quadrants up top for letters, a quadrant for numbers right here, and then you got a quadrant for symbols. So if you write an A up top in the letter box versus writing an A in the number box, you know, nothing's going to happen. Um, something that might be a little more useful is handwriting box number two. Reason being that the whole space is now a letter box. So you can type in H E L L O. Obviously the time to recognize from when you type in your swipe in your letter to when it pops up is kind of slow, but you can change that. Hold down the gear brings up some options. Um, keypad types, writing language, predictive text. Um, but we, we want to look at handwriting settings, recognition time, and then let's lower that down to 100 milliseconds. We'll go back, see if that made a difference. Let's delete our hello here. That's almost too fast. And if you're writing lower, lowercase letters, but if any time you have to write, you know, a capital H, this is going to be really, it really had to go fast, you know, to get it in there. But obviously you can speed that up, so just, you know, figure out what's comfortable for you. So in addition to those, um, you have the Android keyboard, which if you have an Android phone, you should be used to, as well as Swipe. If you haven't heard of Swipe, um, it's the newest and coolest thing, quote unquote, um, for inputting text. And it's just like it sounds. Instead of physically typing, you know, pressing each letter, you just swipe them. So let's, if I, instead of me typing out watermelon, I just swipe over the letters and there you go, watermelon. Hopefully you can see that. Personally, I can't get any faster with swipe than I can texting. I'm actually a little bit slow, you know, a lot slower, but your results might vary. Um, if you play with it more, you might like it, but that's that. Um, last thing I want to show you, well, two more things actually. Number one is the browser. Um, it's got an engine page loaded up here because it's uh, nice and long for scrolling. Um, the browser is really fast. Um, there's not any lag with it or anything except when it does that. I don't know why it stops in some places. It usually just scrolls nice and smooth. There we go. Um, that's usually how the browser looks. It's just beautiful, nice and fast. I don't know if you saw the uh, benchmarks in our Captivate review, but it loses pretty handily to the uh, Nexus One. Um, it's, that should be fixed with the uh, Android 2.2 update, Froyo. Um, all Galaxy S devices will be getting Froyo. Samsung said that already. Um, it's just a matter of when. So hopefully that happens um, in benchmarks. It'll be, be closer. But otherwise, obviously, the Hummingbird processor is not slow. It's fast, obviously, as you can see. So web pages look great. Last thing, um, when I originally talked about all share, <coughs> excuse me, when I talked about Offshore originally, um, the video file that I used wasn't that high of quality, so it didn't really do the, the process justice. But I'll use a little better video, video now. Um, so I'll play a file from my computer. Get my computer, videos. Let's go to folders. TV. Let's just throw on some Nip Tuck real quick. Play some one. Let me check this out. Get a closer. Obviously, the video looks great. Um, so the quality on your phone all depends on the quality on your computer. Um, this would definitely get you by whether you're watching in your living room or whatever. You know, quality is great. No complaints there. Just make sure your original file is up to snuff.
But other than that, um, that's it. If you guys have any more questions, um, let us know on the main webpage, forums, or comment on YouTube. Thanks for watching.